guys. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to cross cut a 2x4 using a portable circular saw. You can use a lot of different tools to cross cut a 2x4, but today we're just going to use the portable circular saw. Um, so I'm going to show you, you guys have already taken the test on the portable circular saw by now, so you're, this would be like your first demonstration that you're going to show me in class how to use it, and it's going to be a review here on video of what we've done in class. So um, I'm going to demonstrate just the cross cut at this point. So we're going to put the saw down, make sure the retractable guard's down, and we'll set the saw down gently beside our, our saw horses. Now with our saw horses, as we discussed in class, we want to make sure <clears throat> that they're set at the appropriate distance for the stock that we're going to cut. In this case, the stock we're cutting is a two by four. We're going to cross cut it. When we're cross cutting, the main thing is, is we don't want to cross cut between two saw horses because it creates a kickback with our portable circular saw. All right. The rotation, as you recall, with the portable circular saw is counterclockwise. All right. So it's feeding into our stock. The gullets of our blade, as you see here, are cutting upwards into the stock. If we're pushing down on that, it pinches the blade and causes it to push back is what happens. So we wanna make sure that we're not cutting in between the saw horses. Okay, so we're gonna mark our board. I'm gonna explain here. We're gonna mark our board 35 inches. So we're gonna take our, our 25 foot tape measure, our carpenter's pencil. We're gonna make sure the end of our board is square. So to make sure the end of this board, we're gonna do a square to square cut. So to make sure the end of this board is square, we're gonna use our speed square. We're gonna make sure we have this edge here tight up against the two by four like so and we're gonna double check that the end the end of our two by four is square okay all right and not angled at a weird angle or some some odd angle okay it's 90 degrees to the face of the board okay now we're gonna measure down we're gonna hook our tape measure down we're gonna measure down 35 inches and we're gonna place a mark. Now this is framing lumber, so we can put a nice mark on it so we can see it, or a crow's foot we call that. So we're aiming just for the tip of the pencil mark. Now again, we can take our tri-square or speed square in this case, and we're gonna square across with our carpenter's pencil and make a nice bold mark on our, on our two by four. Now, the stance is important here. You're gonna hold it, I'm right hand, we're gonna hold with our left hand, we're gonna saw with our right hand, and we're gonna cut to the waist side of the line, okay? So our saw curve is gonna be on this side of our line. That's important because if we cut on this side of the line, that will make our distance too short. So we want, when we're done, we wanna barely be able to see a little bit of the black line here. So I'm gonna take the saw, we're gonna brace ourselves. You're gonna stand almost like you're getting ready to hit a baseball, I would say. All right, it's how I stand. So you got a really good firm stance. You prepare yourself for a potential kickback, but if you're doing everything right, that won't happen. You brace yourself, you're gonna put your saw up, you hit the saw running before you run it into the stock, okay? If you stick it up here and you push against it and you hit the trigger, it's gonna to wanna to push back as well. So you get this, you put the, the base of the saw up against the stock you turn the trigger and you're gonna feed it into the stock I'm gonna show you here all right you want to make sure that if it does kick back that you're not in line with the kickback all right and when you're done it should be just barely as you see there barely some of the black line and the length of it should be exactly 35 inches okay so today we demonstrated how to cross cut a two by four with a portable circular saw one of the other things i forgot to mention is when you're doing this it's important to make sure the depth as as we went over in class earlier the depth of the saw is proper all right so to do that we adjust the, the depth gauge there all right, just slightly below the depth of our stock, okay? Just like so, before we cut. I had already done that in the video. So, thank you for watching. Um, and I appreciate you guys uh, checking in every day.
Have a great afternoon. Thanks.